really nice place to live. It's a, a smaller city, which means that you can get anywhere in about 15 minutes. There's a lot of community activities for kids and for adults, sports and culture. When I first came to Kingston, I really didn't know anyone, but you get to know your fellow residents, nurses, secretarial staff, everyone, and I've made so many friends. It's a, a very picturesque city, so I enjoy running outside, especially by the water. Kingston has a lot of great restaurants for its size. It has a surprising number, so I love going out uh, to eat downtown. A big strength of the hematology program here at Queen's is that the program and the staff people encourage us to be independent thinkers and formulate our own treatment plans, but we can always ask them for help and use their clinical experience to our advantage. We're a highly collegial group and um, everybody within the group is well known to everybody else so you don't just become another resident, you're actually a person in the program. The way that this hospital works is that it's a um, tertiary and quaternary referral centre but it also acts as a, as a kind of district hospital as well for Kingston. There is no other hospital taking the less serious stuff. So you get a big mixture of um, hematological problems from the most um, simple to the most complex. We're not focused on solely training one kind of hematologist and the fact that we are a smaller centre means that we see a lot of general hematology. So somebody could come here and train and really go in any direction. So someone could become a general hematologist that works in a community setting. I trained in this program and I became a clinician scientist who's running a research lab with a great deal of my time protected for research. And so you really can become anything you want out of this program. We have people who've gone on to do training in bone marrow transplant and have become experts in transplant medicine. So I think there's a great deal of opportunity and we really are not um, interested in training one over the other. We like actually having a broad um, experience for the residents so that they can go wherever they want. One-on-one -on -one with residents, uh, you, you need to collaborate with them over clinical cases. Right? It's, it's a pair of colleagues discussing um, clinical problems and if you do that in a friendly way, um, I, I find it's very effective. It's delightful to see them sort of take flight. Then in the second year, all of a sudden, they begin to become hematologists, and that's lovely to watch. In the two years, uh, the trainees become hematologists, and so watching that evolution is really rewarding and really fun, I think, for those of us that are doing the teaching. Sometimes when you're teaching people, you can see a light bulb go on over their head. You know, they just light up when they understand something in a way they didn't understand it before. And so you get to know the residents really well, because we work one-on-one -on -one with them a lot. And so seeing that and the personal development, it's just great. I think it's important that people know that it's beyond the staff people that are an impressive part of this program. It's very closely knit. We've got an excellent interprofessional healthcare team. Um, I know all of the nurses on the hematology ward and they're a great bunch and they're very supportive and kind and good not only to the patients and give great care, but very supportive of us, the learners.